what's going on everybody this is dude from Ukraine how are you guys so today I'm gonna to be walking you through iOS 7 showing you some of the new features how it some of the things has changed from the previous iOS and this is gonna be the most changed uh, operating system that Apple had in the long period of time since like pretty much the new iPhone and it's a, been changed in a good way I, I believe in my opinion now let's take a look at it so as you can see right away um, it's been changed uh, you can see the moving background this is something new that's introduced to iOS 7 which I think is pretty cool um, I put this background there which was available for you to choose from the wallpapers I think it's pretty cool uh, also you can see the clock has been changed as well the like the font of the clock now few major changes on the home screen that's been changed uh, in my opinion were the notification center uh, it's available now on your lock screen which is really nice now you, you can access it there and see what's you know what's going on today and uh, yeah so that's really nice also the uh, new feature called uh, control center this is really useful I've been using this probably the most um, it's been really nice because you can access it anywhere you want and this has everything you need you have the Wi-Fi setting airplane mode Bluetooth you know um, do not disturb block screen from rotation you know your music settings brightness flashlight which is right here as you can see flashlight turns on now which now it's gonna suck for those uh, application companies that release those flashlight applications but anyways that's already included uh, I think that's the compass right there um, uh, calculator and your camera right there so that's really nice that's the home screen now you, what's really cool too you are able to unlock it from anywhere on the screen so either in the middle um, down here so anywhere you want you can unlock it and there it is iOS 7 I think it looks really cool from the, the first few it's definitely a dramatic change and I think it's going in a good way a lot of people said that it looks a little cartoonish which I think a few apps do look a little cartoonish but I think it's still in a good change and I really like the bright colors I think everything looks really good on the screen and uh, who knows maybe they will change some of these applications uh, by you know the final version when that, that releases now let's take a look so the notification center as you can see right away it's really different it's I think it looks a lot better right off the bat um, they definitely changed the design of that it's also I think more useful as well um, what's really cool too is that you can see kind of it's kind of hard to see on the camera but you can see the the background of the uh, applications and everything what's in the background so it makes you feel like you never left the screen you're still there um, you're not like leaving in another window so that's really cool um, you can check your today's notifications all of your notifications and some of the notifications that you have missed and haven't looked at so that's really nice it's really nicely organized now the control center is the same way you can actually see the actual uh, applications here at the top and you can see them through the background it's kind of blurry but I think it's a nice look it looks really nice and modern and also like I said it makes you feel like you didn't leave uh, the screen in another to another window it's you're still there so that's really cool um, again you can access all these little features here and that's really nice changing the brightness music I've been using this uh, quite a bit now let's take a look at the um, camera here uh, the camera has been changed as well the user interface of the camera um, you can see the video photo square and then there's panorama you can slide across um, to different features here um, everything else is pretty much the same you know you can turn on your flash you can look at the photos you've taken change to the front facing camera and also this is really cool it's uh, presets here so you can um, change your photos a little bit add some little flavor style to it so that's really nice um, that's a good feature that's been added to the camera now the clock is different as well um, as you can see the actual clock actually moves with the digital clock at the top that's really neat as well it's just like small little details like that but it may I think it makes a difference and then when you we open the clock you can see there's the uh, new layout the new interface how it looks I think it looks really nice and modern uh, very uh, good looking now moving on to the next app I'm gonna show you is the calendars you can see the icon has been changed as well uh, the calendar is really nice I really like how it's been changed um, you can go up to the whole year here you can scroll through different years you can pick your month you know pick a date boom press plus add your you know um, event that you have going on or whatever so that's really nice the calendar I think is a uh, really good update there now the photos has been changed as well um, this is one of the newer um, features here you're supposed to be able to slide your finger across and see what photos there are so it's like easier to navigate through photos but at the moment since it's beta I don't think it's working at the moment but it will be available 
uh, once the uh, actual release comes out or probably in the later betas. So that's that and that's in years. You can also click on this and it'll take you to collections and then you can click another time and it'll take you into the moment. So it goes into a little bit more deeper um, and a closer look at your photos. So it's a lot easier to navigate your photos that way and kind of keep yourself also organized and uh, yeah, so that's really easy. And then you can share your photos and there's albums as well. Um, so yeah, the photo app has been a really good change. Now the maps, as you can see, the icon has been changed as well. The user interface here has been changed. There's 3D. Um, here you can uh, kind of send the locations through different various uh, Facebook you know, messages and things like that. Um, and here you can show hide traffic, you know, switch different views. Um, so there's like a few different options here as well. And uh, as you can see, when you zoom in as well, it kind of shows you the scale of the map as well. So it's it's a little bit different. It's been updated. I think it looks really nice. Now, moving on to the next one would be the weather. Weather app is really cool. At the moment, it's probably going to be a little plain. Um, you kind of can see the sun rays and it's moving. The clouds are moving and things like that. But when it's raining or there's lightning, you can see that across your screen. The animation's really nice and crisp. And also, um, I haven't noticed any lag or anything like that. So it's all really smooth. So that that's really nice. And there's your weather. You can scroll through different times there. Um, I think the weather app looks really nice. Now, moving into the next one would be the calculator. Calculator is, you know, it's really simple. It's just a calculator, but it's been redesigned. It's a lot more cleaner, I guess, more uh, contemporary. So it looks really nice. Uh, moving on to the next one would be the notes. Notes look really good as well. Again, it's been, everything's been changed. Um, there's the keyboard. Um, you can start typing. There's the dictation. That's what that looks like right there. Hit done. We'll leave that. So that's the notes. Um, moving on to Passbook. Passbook, hopefully they'll implement this a little more now. Um, I feel like it hasn't kicked off as well as they wanted to, but that's Passbook. That's what kind of looks like now, and that's what the icon looks like. FaceTime is pretty cool as well. It has its own app, and uh, as you can see, I'm in favorites now, and you can actually see the front-facing camera. It's, it's maybe hard to pick it up in a camera, but you can see that it's uh, picking up whatever the camera is seeing right now, which is the camera above. Um, and then you can go to your recents, you can go to your uh, context and things like that. So that's FaceTime. Moving on to music, which I really like the music update, which has the iTunes radio. And I've been using it quite a bit and it's actually really nice. It has some skips. Uh, you can skip your, you know, through certain songs, but it hits like a skip limit. Eventually there's advertisement as well. iTunes radio is actually free if you're a iTunes match. Uh, customer, which I think is like 25 bucks a year or something like that, so which is a pretty good deal. Um, but iTunes Radio is pretty nice, it has a nice layout. You can choose your radio station, see what's suggested, and things like that. Um, interface here has been redesigned. I don't have a lot of music on this phone because I don't have a lot of uh, space left, so I don't keep a lot of music there. I usually listen to like Spotify or iTunes Radio, um, but that's what that looks like songs and things like that. You can rotate it, and that's what that looks like. Um, and this is still in beta as well. So that's uh, music and then videos are about the same. So you can see the movies here. I can download them from my iCloud. Um, you can also hit here, go to the store. And that's in a second it should load. There's, that's what the store looks like. Um, I think it's about the same, just like a little different of like the user interface. Um, but that's what that looks like. I think it looks pretty neat. Um, that's the iTunes store, app store. That's what... This looks like the app has been changed a little bit. Um, there's your top charts here. You can scroll through the paid, free, top grossing. So there's a few different ones um, there. And uh, newsstand, that's gonna be a cool one. Um, well, I haven't really used newsstand, but you are now actually able to drop it into a folder, which is really cool. So you can get rid of that. So it's not sitting there on your screen. Now let's take a look at the rest of the applications here in the folders. Uh, so this is what the new folders look like. I think it's a nice look. Uh, it's definitely a cleaner look, I believe. Um, I don't know how many pages you can have in the folders. I've seen three so far that I have at the moment, um, but you might be able to have more. So that's what the contacts app looks like. I don't want to show you the, exactly what it looks like on the inside because you'll see my contacts. So, um, but here's reminders again, a different icon. Um, reminders, I think is a lot better organized and I think it's a lot easier to use. So you can, you know, set whatever, um, like personal school, whatever titles you want here. And then you can pick one, say here, and then, 
do like a little test here and then you can hit where, when, or more options and it'll say if you hit when, you can set your time and date and things like that. So that's really neat. It's really easy to work through and then hit the, at the top and it'll go back to the, your main menu. So reminder is a lot easier to use, I think. Um, so they, they did a good job with that. Now compass, it looks exactly the same like the icon. Um, it's, I mean, I've never really used compass personally, but uh, yeah, it's there. So it's been redesigned as well. Settings app, as you can see, it's been redesigned as well. And then that's the user interface here. Um, you can see all your settings here for, you know, do not disturb control center, notification center, everything's here for you. Um, that's what settings looks like. I like the new interface. It definitely looks really good. The only downside I see to it is kind of, it, sometimes they all blends in a little bit. That's, I hope they might change that a little bit too. Um, but because it, I think it just blends in a little too much sometimes, but overall, I think it's a good change so far. Now phone app, as you can see, has been changed as well. Um, those options looks about the same in terms of like the colors you've seen previously in a few different applications but this is what the dial pad looks like um, text messages that's what that looks like um, and then mail app has been changed just a little bit safari has uh, seen a lot of change as you can see we'll open my uh, page here so that's safari um, a lot of the options disappear and then you can kind of hit the corner here or like move it and then you get all these options here which are like bookmarks and things like that. If you hit this right here, you can see all the pages that's been open. So it's really nice because um, you can have a ton of pages open. It's really easy to work with. And then if you don't like a page, you can just slide to get rid of it or hit the X. It's really easy. I think the multitasking here is really nice. Um, and then you can see uh, the iCloud is connected to my MacBook Air. So then there's a, some of the top sites that I have uh, bookmarked on my MacBook Air or like some of the web pages that are open. You can also have private browsing. You can hit uh, the plus here to open another tab. And then we can uh, uh, go here to shared uh, links, which will uh, show you sh uh, links through your Twitter feed. So that's really nice. It just shows you all that that's available. There's your bookmarks, you know, your reading list and things like that. So Safari has definitely seen a lot of change and I've really liked the change. It, it makes everything a lot faster through Safari, just navigating, browsing, if you're trying to get something done. So that's really nice. Um, also what you see is multitasking. It's the same thing. Uh, you can hit the home button twice, that pops up. And then this is your multitasking here. Um, you can scroll through it. You can see all the apps that correspond with each page, you can get rid of one, you can get rid of two at the same time, you can get rid of three at the same time. So it's a lot easier to navigate through um, and it's a lot easier to just deal with. Um, so the multitasking feature uh, is really nice. It's definitely actual multitasking rather than before you hit that and then it was really confusing. Um, now here you can scroll down anywhere in the middle of the page or like on the side and then you'll get the uh, search bar here uh, which you can search anything on your iPhone so like a you know a text message or the weather app and then you know it'll show you the corresponding uh, feature that are available so that's really nice so this is pretty much it for iOS uh, 7 kind of walk through um, I'll show you a few apps here that's what folders looks like let me see if I have multiple that's multiple pages here um, also, what's different as well is kind of like the 3D feel for the background. Um, you can see the background moves a little bit. It kind of gives you a feel that you can look behind the icons or there's something behind the icon so they're not just flat on the screen. Um, in, the, in their uh, keynote, it was a lot easier to see. Um, they made it a little more dramatic, I guess, um, rather than here. But maybe it's because it's beta. We'll see what happens after the actual release. But um, that's it for iOS 7 walkthrough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully kind of give you an idea what iOS 7 looks like. I think it's definitely moving in the right direction. Like I said, um, there we might see changes by the end uh, when the final version releases. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you don't mind helping me out, uh, please share with your friends, you know, um, hit the like button. And also if you like the content, feel free to subscribe. And uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.